Chelsea kick off their Continental Cup campaign with a home quarter-final tie against Sunderland. Emma Hayes has rotated her squad, 11 changes from the weekend. Chelsea looking to make a fast start. Beaver Jones racing into the penalty area, ball forward across and held up by mere official chance for Kirby over the crossbar. Well, Chelsea going for the quick start. Mere officials back to goal there. Outside of the right foot from Kirby over. Worked out to Beaver Jones on the right hand side. Goes past the fullback, gets to the byline, pulled across. Great chance over the bar. Mere official should really have put Chelsea in front there. Beaver Jones doing all the hard work down the right hand side. Perfect cross stood up into the penalty area. And Mere official heads over. Chelsea attacking down the left. Here's Hamano making her first start. Ball went just beyond Fischl, retrieved over on the left-hand side. Cross will come in once again for Chelsea. Beaver Jones at the far post. And again, she hooks over. Chelsea having all the early chances. Can't quite hit the target. Deep cross for Beaver Jones over the bar. Here's Nuskin combining with Ingle. Now Kirby towards Chankovic. Good ball to maintain control there, and they've broken the offside trap here. Ball across from Kirby, and somehow it's not been turned in by Hamano at the far post. Sunderland looking for an offside flag, that wasn't there. As Frank Kirby broke free down the right, pulled it across the six yard box, and somehow no connection. Chelsea still attacking with uh, Chankovic down the left ball across, looking for Fischl, and that's over as well. They can't quite find the target in this game, they're having all the chances. Corner from the right, half away for Sunderland, doing plenty of defending the visitors, but Chelsea will try and retrieve down the right once more. Chankovic does well, Perise has got... Frank Kirby in down the right and she turns and she puts a cross in and completely unmarked is Nushkin to make it 1-0 and finally the breakthrough. Choka Nushkin with the goal. Sunderland again looking for an offside which hasn't come and Chelsea finally make the breakthrough and they've threatened it two or three times and Frank Kirby down the right gets a cross in and the totally unmarked Nushkin heads Chelsea in front. Beaver Jones has space down the right once again. Fierce shot to palmed over by Claudia Mode in the Sunderland goal. Corner by Perise from the left. Flick header by Nushkin, and that's 2 0. 2 0 and two goals for Nushkin. Sunderland switched off there defensively from the corner. Perise sending it in from the left hand side. And there were two players unmarked really, and Nushkin got ahead to it and flicked it beyond Claudia Mode. Well delivered there to the edge of the six yard box, and Nushkin makes it two. Chelsea going for a fast start now to the second half and Bieber Jones racing into the penalty area. Fierce shot through the keeper, 3-0. Well, Claudia Moe may not be happy with that, but Aggie Bieber Jones certainly is. Plenty of power in the shot and that power too hot for Claudia Moe to handle. Direct play by Bieber Jones, right footed shot through the keeper. Chelsea 3-0 up and surely going through. Here comes Sunderland on a rare attack forward. Jenna Deer, the former Chelsea player. Gets a ricochet there and then goes for goal and it's tipped over by Mushevich for a corner. A rare sight of goal there from Sunderland and Genadier. Chelsea move it forward down there left with Hamano. Moving into the area. Hamano gets free now. Can she score on her first start? No, the keeper Mon has made the save. Hamano got round the outside there of Jessica Brown. Did well to fasten a shot, but the keeper made the save. Hamano once again combining with Chankovic. Hamano will get the cross in. Mere official across the box it goes, and Frank Kirby is there to stab home and make it 4 0 to Chelsea with seven minutes to go. Frank Kirby on the score sheet. Hamano with the ball across. Fischl right across that six yard box, and Frank Kirby is there. Hamano once more for Chelsea, really finishing the game strongly, turns inside and then a right footed shot is collected by Moan down to her right hand side, she readjusted well there the keeper. Beaver Jones has got round the outside of McCatty into the penalty area, turns it back onto her left foot, good shot saved by the keeper. And Chelsea with Chankovic now down the left, Chankovic with a cross in and that's Kirby again and that's 5-0. In stoppage time, Frank Kirby gets her second, and Chelsea hit the high fives. Congratulations all round. 
Kirby gets her second. Perfect cross in by Chankovic from the left, and Frank Kirby arriving to beat Claudia Moan and score Chelsea's fifth of the night. The elder in possession, the final whistle goes, the goal was the last meaningful action. Chelsea safely through to the last four of the Conti Cup. Nine wins on the trot in all competitions. Final score, Chelsea 5, Sunderland 0. A win at the weekend in the WSL and now into the semi-finals of the League Cup. How much did the momentum of the weekend help you with this match? I think it's a good, we're in a good moment as a team. I think we're in good form. I think everybody's getting good game time and I think everybody's making the most of that. I think knowing we've got 11 changes from the weekend, uh, really good from the team, I think, when you're playing against a really low 5-4-1. And we got a couple of goals before half-time. Second half, I thought there was a drop-off from us in the quality of our pass, decision-making, execution. But I thought the team really recovered that in maybe the last quarter of the game for us to run out comfortable winners and got an opportunity to see everybody and give them 90 minutes. Why the 11 changes and no substitutions as well in this match? Because I believe in the quality of the squad and I think it's important at this stage to keep everybody on the same level. One. Two, we have a game at the weekend. But also I feel to have a training session tomorrow would be in the best interest that we, we play a fresh group in training tomorrow and the group that played 90 minutes gets a recovery off the pitch. Last time these two teams met was in 2018. Frank Kirby got a goal in the first half mm. on the 12th of May of 2018 and she's got a brace again today. How special is that for her? Yeah, I've got some really fond memories of Fran against Sunderland so when that hit the back of the net, it reminded me of winning a title uh, in Staines back in the day. Um, so yeah, no delighted for Fran to continue to sell the the score sheet, it's important to her, it's important for the team and it's important for us to be in the hat. What an introduction to a League Cup match. Chelsea are into the semi-finals. What did you make of the team's performance and your contribution as well? Yeah, I was really proud of the team um, coming in um, to the quarters. It's, not diff it's difficult, so we just came in, um, we've been working on it all week, so it's just good to see um, our training actually come into the game. I want to talk about your contribution. You've been very humble, but I want to talk about yeah. your contribution. It was a fast start, uh -huh. uh, a header, four minutes in, and you yeah. also get an assist as well with Fran's goal. How yeah. special is that for you today? Yeah, no, very special. It's just improving and keep building my connections with my teammates and just it takes time and each game is special because I get to continue to learn this game and this style of play. There was a delay to the match after an official, the assistant referee got some treatment on the side of the pitch. How did that disruption help the team? Do you think, or, or were you, how quickly were you able to regroup the team? Yeah, it's always tough when you have a long break just to regather the team and you know get our mindset back into it. But I think we did a great job with um, getting our minds right, getting together and, and talking to our coach what we need to do. A 5-0 win, that really shows the dominance and the quality of goals scored today this evening, wouldn't you say? Yeah, definitely. The Chelsea win. <laughs> Love it, last one. Um, another cup tie to come, this one's a big one. Mm -hmm. It's a South London derby on Sunday against Crystal Palace in the Women's yeah. FA Cup. How excited are you to be part of that? Yeah, I'm very excited. I think, yeah, we just keep going game by game and, um, yeah, just continue our performance. Yeah, so we're so excited.